welcome back to my channel um it's just going to be another house vlog um just sorting things out we're putting some shelves up we're painting the garage organizing some more clothes um just getting organized really maybe go through a few more boxes if we i mean to be fair the boxes a lot of the things don't have anywhere to live um but we're just gonna put some shelves up so i'll bring Stay you along <laughs> yeah so let me show you the bin. I'll show you the before. We're putting the shelves up here. Um, and this is what we're looking at right now. I'll show you that will come down when we're putting up the shelves. Um, but these, ignore all the pots, we literally just had breakfast. These are the wooden, um, sold scaffolding boards. I got them from work. So yesterday you would have seen me that's why our driver does not work for a scaffolding company. I don't work for a scaffolding company. I just saw these outside of one of the, the buildings and I went and asked if I was like, can I have them? And they was like, yeah, of course. Because um, I like the fact that they're old. So yesterday, you would have seen me um, sanding them. So I'll put that in now. <laughs> So I sanded these and Brad cut them and I sanded them yesterday made them all look clean because they were quite dirty um, but I think they look they're gonna look so nice again camera don't really pick up the actual true color of them they're a little bit warmer um, which I quite like and I didn't want any shiny new boards I want them to look a bit rustic because because we are living in, in a new build everything is new and beautiful and I don't want everything that we put in it to be new. I want it to be rustic, I want it to have character. So I think by using like old boards that have like been weathered, I think that'll make it look like a balance. Do you know what I mean? If that makes sense. So I want a balance, so yeah. Um, that's obviously that's that one. either one. Um, I think I like the other side more. And I like that side more. Okay. I like, so I like my two favourite sides. So that's that and that. So don't okay. draw on them. That I'm gonna. I took them away. Yeah. So that's the. Front. Which one's the bottom now? And top. Does it matter? Yeah. I'll, I'll let you choose. So let's have a look. So either that side. Why does it matter? You're not gonna see them. The bottom or the you're top? Gonna, you know, because it's there. Yeah, no, but. So it's gonna be underneath, and you're gonna have stuff on top of it. Yeah, I know. I like that as the top. You like that as the top? Okay. That so that's going to be the face. Yeah. Then that's going to be the top. Yeah. And then this one, this is the face. Um, actually, no, that's the top. Yeah. And then that one is the bottom. There you go. It's lifting out, isn't it? Yeah, this one's not there, so we can screw this one up. Yeah, once it's screwed in, I suppose. Got one hour, one hour, which isn't too bad. Is that okay? Will that yeah, be enough support? Oh, yeah, definitely. But I don't want to put one in there and crack it. No, it's just because obviously the screws aren't going to be like that and it'll go against the it'll wall. Be yeah, so that will have to be. Well, I think that'll be enough. One's going to be more than enough. Okay, so this is the bottom one. <laughs> So you can only do one old card, you know? Yeah. Are you going to be happy with how that looks? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think that looks nice. I'm just wondering. What? Yeah, it's going to have to be just for the strength. Just because there's only one arm? Yeah. So we need it. Let's hope this wall's strong enough for it. Oh, it will be. But there's not that much coin on it, is there? Box. I mean, 
Some there, some there. Yeah. That way. And I'm going to lay down. And, yeah. I'm going to do that. So that I've was... bought a few things. I'm, again, I'm not sure. I just want to get an idea and see. Because mm -hmm. this is something that we can change. Like, literally, like, weekly if we need to. But I thought, just bring a few things down just to see, like, if, like, something like that. Like, I do love this version here, though. Mm -hmm. Think of angle or so on it we have my cookbooks um so all of like the vegan ones and more cookbooks up there this vase which i think I should twist just slightly which i got from cornwall this is what we got from tenerife this little candle um in 2018 my spider plan um some well, the camera's at an angle sorry it's not doing a very good job some all of our oils and um, this is some homemade wow look at the garlic at the bottom babe and, uh, it's, it's good or is it it looks like it's been cooked don't it yeah it looks good do you know what would look good on here you know if we ever get any jars and we do preserving a pickled a pickled um like a pickling station. yeah so then i've got this one with all my cactuses in it um and then this clock is from my mama and granddad's house um, and I've all loved it. And the reason it is that colour is because they used to smoke. I don't like that there. No? No. I think I prefer just the oils. Yeah. That's probably. Yeah. But yeah, they used to smoke. <laughs> so that's the colour. But I kind of love that. Uh, vintage. Yeah. Vintage. Is it got a thing on the back? For batteries? No. Talk it on. Um, yeah, there is somewhere to talk it. Right, just pour it. I quite like it being stood though, like Lent. Yeah. But you wouldn't want it? No, I think I prefer mm, it like, like no, I, I like, I do like it leaning. I think that looks quite, it's just been put there, but really it's been put there for a reason. Purpose. Yeah. Put there with a purpose. Yeah, we need some batteries for that. And then we'll have a clock in here. But I think that looks super nice. Looks homey. Don't it? Yeah. So now we've got these up. We have this picture here that I, I've shown you, I think already. Um, from our first date and then across this side with our lovely camping chairs and our shelves that we need to put up for the garage um, we've got these this one is all like buzzy bees and flies and ladybirds and then this side is mushrooms which I love because we love mushrooms anyway 
Um, but it's actually, obviously I ignore the mess in the kitchen, like the, the utility, um, but it's all like coming together, isn't it really? Yeah, this, this room is. Yeah, and I think, especially when we've got a table and I can put a plan, maybe Sideshow Bob can go in the middle of the table. I feel like... Uh, Bob, if we took Bob out of that part, put him in the centerpiece, glass one, yeah, that looked quite cool, but it just depends how we'd... Yeah, obviously it depends on how we'd take it all. But, I do, I do love him. I need, his, his leaves are starting to... If anyone knows how, what this plant's called, um, and how to correctly look after him, I'd really appreciate it. Because um, his leaves are just starting, I don't think it's going to focus. A minute. His leaves are just starting to like, what? no, go brown. And he was luscious and green when we first got him on like a couple of weeks, well, literally about a week and a half ago. And he's been in the window and he, we get sun in the morning, but on that window, but we don't get it in the afternoon. So he's got sun all morning and I just don't want to burn him. Um, and I want to look after him because my dad and my stepmom had one of these. Oh, and he was beautiful, he was massive. Um, and he lived for ages, but then he, he just died, so... And they don't know what they did, or... And I just, I don't want to do that, because I love him. He's so nice. So this is the first pussy cat that we've seen on the estate. Oh, do you live round here? Are you gonna be uh, coming to see us? Hey? Oh, I love the colour of your fur. So handsome. Are you a girl or a boy? I don't want to pick you up in case you don't like it. In case you don't like it. Do you live on here or have you just come for a little wonder? Have you just come for a little wonder? <laughs> <laughs> We're coming back, baby. We're coming back. <laughs> She's just watching us go off. We've come to B&Q. We're getting some more paint for the garage. We've got some storage containers and we've come to get our scaffolding boards ready for our table. We've got a big one, huh? Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, well, we don't really need to spend another 12 quid more. Nah, I'm just get what we got then. No. I mean, they're quite nice for the bench. Two of them together. Yeah. Do you agree? It's, it's very similar to the scaffold board. I mean, let's have a look at the scaffold board. Yeah. I mean, this has got a little bit, but nothing that we can't sand. It's got a bit on the side there. Do you want to try another? See it halfway down. Yeah, do you want to try another? Yeah, put it on top of that one, Brady. Oh. Ah. Push this one. Try. What about that one on top there? Okay, from my end. I mean, that can go on the underside in the middle. So like, that's the underside. Let's twist it to see if it's not got any of the other side then. I mean, this side's very raw. But it's... Yeah. What do you think? Is it sandable? Now. We have our wood. It's just time to see if they can cut these big ones in half now. And can we get anywhere with them? We're back from being q now, um, so we're just going to paint the garage a little bit more and then I'll show you our idea for the table and 
we've laid it all out so we've got a rough idea um, but we're just going to crack on and paint the garage and get that all sorted. I'm just going to do a second coat here. Yeah. This is how we're looking so far. So this is all had second coat there. So from where the mop is, all the way around there is done. Yeah. And it's just this side now. And I, I am covered. It's much later now and it is, um, I forgot to tell you the day yet. It's Sunday the 11th of July and it is the Euros cool. 2021 final. Go what? on! Go on, shoot! And it's currently 1 1. And I wanted to record this because this is like history. This is the first Euros final ever, ever that we've made in. It's the first final in 55 years England's got to. Yeah, and we're in our house. Yeah. So. It's intense though. I do like it. I like it when England play. But ugh, it makes me stressed. Come on. Go on. Oh, now quickly everyone get to the other end. We've not had the ball hardly this second half. half Come on, just get it back. Come on, run. Ah! What the fuck are you doing? That's a red. Get fucking gone, mate. Yellow! Might not be time enough for England to drop it from the free kick. Well, he knows he's messed up here, Keely. He needs some seconds away. Unbelievable. Captain Harry Maguire. Sure. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Hey, get it. Shoot. Red free kick. Sure. Why, why? I really want to find his Team making strong oh, I deal with the pressure, I just don't like it. One huge one to break in the next 15, 16 minutes, but those two at the back are in. This amount of stress ain't good for the song. Come on, England, fucking tackle him. Do it, get him, 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 get Fucking penalty. Yes! Come on, Ingrid! Yes. Fucking. He, he broke camera! He wrestled it! Oh, George, oh, it's me! Oh, mate, I'm good to fear. Oh, are you joking? Oh, Marcus. He tried to place it. Oh, 
And it is. Yes! 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 Don't we get this win? No. Oh. He's just stopped him from winning it. Oh. He's got to score. Oh, bless him. Come on, now, now. You've done it. Easy. Oh. Who came second? You might have gone out of group stage. Understand? Yeah. 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 We lost. Yeah. We lost. Yeah. Content blue. Content blue. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah. No, we lost. And I feel like. Wait, but you can't. You can't take away from what that man's done. It, it's, it's such a shame. They did so well. It's bedtime now, I'm going to get some sleep. It's been a really good day. Obviously, it's sad that England didn't win, but they should be proud, shouldn't they, really, though? Mm -hmm. They did really well, and they played really well. Um, but it was still amazing that they got to the final. Um, and it was stressful. I don't actually quite like the feeling that it gave me. <laughs> it made me feel like I was going to have a panic attack. You know the feeling you get before you have a panic attack? Didn't feel great, so um, I don't know. But it's been a really nice day. Other than that, um, obviously getting everything done in the house, just potting around, getting things done. Um, I've managed to get a few more clothes sorted out the other day. Got a massive pile. Oh, I'll add that in now. Actually, of me sorting my clothes. Hi, it is Thursday, the eighth of July, um, and I'm literally sorting through all of the clothes of mine that are in. The main guest room because I need to put some of them in my wardrobe I want to put some of them in the bottom of my wardrobe that I'm going to be putting in drawers and all I can say is it resembles a bomb site because it's like a bomb explosion of clothes I can't speak a bomb explosion of clothes it's literally a bomb explosion of clothes <laughs> and I don't seem to be getting anywhere because the piles that are in that room, I just seem to be moving the piles around and not actually, and I've just been having the phone to my mum and we've both discovered that I'm definitely a hoarder when it comes to clothes because I've got way too many. I do not need this many clothes. It's greedy. And I can't let go of them because that time that I might wear them, but I never wear these certain clothes, but there's something in me that's telling me, don't get you might that time that you might wear them um but i thought i'd just <laughs> quickly show you where i'm at to keep you in the loop with what we're doing in the house and how things are going and <sighs> just seems to be getting worse with my clothes <laughs> so i'll show you so this is the room at the minute yeah, I've managed to sort the bags. There's one bag left, but I'm sure that's just full of coats. Um, I'm sorting things out. Like, I've got, like, holiday pile. That's going to be more work clothes. Things that I'm going to try on and see. More jeans and skirts that I knew I had. There was in one of them bloody um, Ikea bags. I knew I had denim skirts, black. But I just couldn't think if I did. But I'm glad I didn't buy any more. Because I went into Primark hoping that they'd have some. And I didn't buy them because I was like, hmm. Oh, I might need a skirt. And then I was like, shall I? No, I know. I'll leave it. I bought the coat hangers out because I'm going to start hanging some things up to go in the wardrobe. Brad's clothes are just staying here for the time being because I'm the one with the problem, clearly. So this is the room at the minute. <laughs> then you come out of here. <laughs> Luckily, this is the pile I'm getting rid of. I still think that needs to be double the size for me to feel like I've had a really good purge because... But then there's just something in me that's like, no, cl you're clothed. But then I'm like, this just mind my French, just get rid of him. But I can't. Okay, anyway, that's my dressing gown. I'm going to mum's old dressing gown. Hold on to that because when I go to mum's house, I want to wear a dressing gown. Pile of clothes. 
started hanging some things up more jackets i'm like am i gonna hang you up in the wardrobe do i want to waste my wardrobe space can i find somewhere else work clothes this pile that is quite big um work jackets that are actually disgusting but i get cold at work and i don't want to wear any of my nice stuff because then that ruins my nice stuff and i feel like i'm at work when i wear them then this pile of jeans trousers and there's still more to add to it oh, God. um all my jumpers that i'm keeping i have threw a couple out i'm gonna go through again all of these and decide this top one though i'm not because that was my granddad's and i love that um all of my best tops which i have just thrown on the floor <laughs> but they need sorting out and folding but a lot of them will be going in drawers so they haven't technically got a home yet um gym clothes like these are like my pajamas and my loungewear stuff um but yeah so that's where i'm at at the minute i'm glad that pile was big but then there's something in me that's like oh but once i've decided i'm getting rid of something i feel okay about it being in here and i would rather it go to someone who's going to wear it and appreciate it than me just having it in a wardrobe saying i'm going to wear it year after year after year and never wearing it it's a good thing bridie you're going it's a good thing this bag's going um but yeah I would show you me on a time lapse <laughs> but um I'm currently I was in my bra I put this top on to see if it fits me and if I like it I do like it but it is see-through so I would have to wear a bra with it um but obviously not a bra like this and I don't own a white bra or a skin colored bra and if I So it's probably going to be a pyjama top. It's fine by me. And I'm in my pants. So. And I'm red a lot. So I don't plan on putting anything on. So you can watch me. Or shall I? <laughs> Go on then. You twisted my arm. Or is it twisted my leg? You twisted something. <laughs> I'm unsure whether I'm going to be upside down right now because my screen is upside down for me so I look like I'm talking from the ceiling because I just dropped my camera. Well, I didn't actually drop it, it fell off the box, I put it on and the screws are coming loose. Oh wow, it's really trippy. Um, so I need a new camera. I found my toothbrush. So yeah, that was the other day. Um, so I've sorted that. I've still got a few little things to sort out, but um, I've got rid of a huge pile. Let me show you. So this is what I've got left to sort. Got a hand towel? No, I've only got this one out. I need to get a hand towel. The black one's in the main bathroom. Um, so these are all of my clothes. So they're work clothes, best tops like shorts and jeans I'm gonna come out here I need to sort their cardigans and jumpers that I need to go through joggers and like loungewear and then sportswear and then this is all clean now thank god rubbish <laughs> and there is the mountain of clothes that is gonna go to family friends and the charity shop you can go to a better home a home where someone's gonna actually enjoy a home where someone's actually going to enjoy the clothes and um, but yeah so bedtime. Um, so i'm going to end this vlog here so i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching um if you could like and subscribe i'd be really appreciative like subscribe and peace and peace <laughs> <laughs> right night night